remains front and center. As it will for a while. Mm -hmm. And Art, the school district followed the lead of other local schools and formed their own police department, including the hiring of an experienced police chief who will be in charge of all emergency operations. CBS 19's Kenley Hargett joins us now. Kenley, the goal seems simple. Make sure students are able to learn in a safe environment. Yeah, that's right, guys. ARP ISD Superintendent Shannon Arrington told me they're gone, gone through several resource officers the past few years and wanted more consistency and responsibility from an officer. Just another measure the district is taking in an effort to prevent something tragic from happening in their schools. If you've driven to any ARP ISD school, you couldn't miss this sign. Attention. Please be aware that the staff at ARP ISD are armed and may use whatever force is necessary to protect our students. For three years, these signs have served as a deterrent, and now the district is incorporating new safety measures. My goal is to make sure that staff and students are safe. Craig Robinson was recently hired by the school board to serve as the district police chief. He's the former chief of the ARP Police Department and has numerous years of experience in law enforcement. And this person is in charge of our emergency operations plan updates, all of our safety and security uh, standards and whatnot so will come from this individual. ARP ISD is one of several East Texas districts with their own police force and armed staff. Recent school attacks, such as the one in Santa Fe, has forced the discussion about school safety to the forefront, including the recognized Guardian program, which allows school employees to carry concealed weapons on campus. We actually hand select some individuals that work for the school district. Uh, they have to go some, through some extensive training. Uh, to be a guardian and they have the ability to be armed at all times on our campuses. Steve Robinson says with all the security measures in place, it's impossible to completely eliminate the threat. Well, we hope we can ease their minds a little in, you know, me being here and having presence here at all times. Fall will mark the three-year anniversary of the school district being part of the Guardian program. Superintendent Shannon Arrington said the school board felt like the Guardian plan was the best for them. Reporting in studio, Kenley Hargett, CBS 19.